Stumpa da dumpa dumpa. It's movie poopy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Miss El Dente, I'm afraid that... We knew that we had to object! I just didn't know what we had to do! You're in a pickle now. <laughs> I don't really see why. Adding a pack of lies to your testimony can stir things very sour for a witness. Why'd uh, you use the hint coin on that? Because you were so confused. No, it, I didn't know what we would present to make her... to prove the contradiction. It would seem the defense is prepared to claim claim its life, and that there is a contradiction to this witness's testimony. Uh-huh. Correct, Your Honor. I won't know until I try. The defense should now present the evidence to the court. The evidence contradicting the assertion that the defendant hit the witness holding the pipe backhand it is. Um. I honestly don't Wait, know. wait, wait, wait. Tag torn was clasping it in her hand when seized by smiles. I don't think that's it. But it's in her hand. I don't know. Did you know we should continue hold on, this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, please. I just want to get this one last thing. I remember the flashlight having something to do with something at some point. Check the flashlight. Go ahead and check the fingerprints. No. Wait, I'm just gonna... Light injury, laceration to the back of the head. Hit with the long object. Present... Wait. Back of the head. How would she hit the back? Going... I guess so. How would she hit the front that way? That's what I'm asking. I think what they're saying is that she goes like this. Like she kind of stabs Right. In. Like she goes like yeah. around the horn. With a long blunt object? Would that be considered long and blunt? Yes. A metal pipe is a long no, blunt no, I'm object, saying, like, Dan. If, if I'm hitting you like this, like with the end, it's definitely smaller. Never mind, whatever. <sighs> hey, Dan, we should actually use the coin for this. No, hold on. And when she sees... Tag torn. I feel like it's this. I don't think that's it, though. Um. No. I do think it's this. I don't think Pawn it is, though. All right, what's we shouldn't have wasted it on. Oh, it isn't, I guess. All right. I do remember the flashlight having something to do with it. All right. I can't remember what. I think it's the medical report. Because how would she have hit the back of the head? All right, let's try that then. That I guess that does make Take sense. Take that! Take that! Even though I think there is a way. Miss El Dente, you previously testified. See, I told you it was the medical report. You're using the hat to cover the wound you received from the assault. Oh, I see. It is normal for signoritas to cover things up they don't want others to see. That's not at all. You also described the defendant as little, if you recall. That's to say, Miss Cantabella is at least shorter than you. I've grown tall and healthy thanks to the wonderful Mediterranean sunshine. Speak up! Well, let me ask you then. How did a girl shorter than you, holding a heavy pipe backhanded, manage to land a blow to the back of your head? Alright, yeah, so what is that? Even though I feel like you could, but... I'd say it's impossible. I guess so, Phoenix. Oh, uh, 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 uh. That was a really fast. The fingerprints on the weapon show that the defendant held it backhanded. But even if she didn't, it's highly unlikely she would be able to hit Miss Aldente's head like that. I'm so tired, Dan. <laughs> all right, all right. Order, I'll have order. Do you want to quit now? Dennis. What is the defense Objection! Even if it was highly unlikely, it cannot be proven that it was impossible. Let's just at least get until the next testimony. All right. Miss Cantabella's fingerprints were found on that pipe, Your Honor. Nothing can, can change the fact that it was defendant that had the weapon. Hmm? Uh, that's so. Does the defendants have any comments? 
Can't deny that. It's clear that Hispella did hold that pipe. Uh, she held it like this, right? Why would she do that? It'd be hard to hit anyone like this, but you could catch it! Oh, shit. What? You just stumbled upon that. <laughs> well, I knew that from the beginning. It was really obvious. <laughs> I just remembered that happened now. Thank it was you. really fucking obvious. Thank you for reminding me, Daniel. <laughs> when she holds it like that, it looks as if... Court recognizes the validity of the prosecution's objection. Fingerprints on the weapon prove those of the user of the defendant. Objection. The defendant's fingerprints may be on the pipe. However, it doesn't prove she hit anyone with it. Nonsense. Why would anyone who should pick up the steel pipe for? Objection. Oh, I think I've got a pretty good idea. Well then, the defense may elaborate on this idea. What will I say next? We'll turn about this trial. Hey, because it's a turnabout. The defendant's fingerprints were left on the weapon when she tried to defend herself. Yeah. Well, naturally, when she held the pipe with both hands, when she stopped it from coming down on her head. Uh, stopped it? Oh, both hands. That's right, like this. Huh? Please take another look at this photo. These are not the fingerprints of an assailant. Wait, shouldn't the other person's fingerprints be on the other side? She wears gloves, Dan. Oh, okay. But rather fingerprints of a victim who is defending herself. Which brings us to the conclusion. Miss Cantabella didn't attack the witness. She was, in fact, a victim, desperately trying to defend herself. Th this cannot be. And if Miss Cantabella was a victim, who was the real assailant? There's only one person who could have done it. Uh, so you're lying. Huh? The only other person at the crime scene was Olivia, Olivia La Dente. It was you, wasn't it? Yeah. Or was it? She doesn't it was. Oh, okay, thanks for the spoilers. Oh, order, order, order. If I cannot have the order, the court will be adjourned. Be quiet, all of you. Who is this? Oh, okay. You just don't quite, don't you? Oh. Oh, okay. A lousy lawyer like you should be able to get the chop. I'll show you how to chop up close. Objection! Have you lost your mind, Mr. Wright? The witness is the victim, not the assailant. No fingerprints other than the defendants on the weapon. Objection! Objection! Look at the witness's outfit. Oh! She's wearing gloves. That's why she left no fingerprints. Now you press see your chin <laughs> Objection but You cannot be sure she was wearing gloves that Objection. night. Objection The witness has called this her work outfit, so she must have been wearing it when she went to check the supplies. Hold it You devious lawyer slippery as an eel It because I had gloves on it was only if I were me wearing gloves. <laughs> Uh, she's the only one in the courtroom wearing gloves. There was that guy. The guard, he was wearing gloves too. The, the guard? guard? Oh, well, we know why. No, he wasn't. Hmm? No, he wasn't. I know. That's <laughs> And we know how to prove that too. Yeah, I knew <laughs> the flashlight became important. Yeah, the, the previous witness. Ah, that's right. The gloves are part of the guard's uniform by regulation. See that guy, Johnny, he wasn't wearing gloves that night, too. Yeah, what do you say to that, Mr. Wright? Since you're claiming that the assailant is the person who had gloves on, that may suspect as well. It's impossible. Johnny Smiles is not the culprit. Why not? Anyone with gloves could have done it. Didn't you just say that? Um, no, I didn't. However, it does seem plausible that the guard could have done it. He was wearing gloves, after all. I'm afraid that's impossible, Your Honor. And I have proof. Oh, 
Oh, is it going to bring me to this menu? Oh, yeah, it is. You do? Fascinating. Let's see this proof. If you really have it. Please enlighten us with why smiles cannot be the culprit. Provide the proof. Take that! Take that! Mr. Smiles is, to put it nicely, what you may call a free spirit. <laughs> Perfect. There's no guarantee you'd follow the rules and wear his full uniform. And this is the evidence to prove he did not wear gloves. <laughs> oh, wait. Don't throw that filthy torch at me. Will someone please wipe the chocolate off this evidence? No, Your Honor. The chocolate is the evidence. What? Mr. Smiles was snacking on a chocolate bar during his patrol. That's why his flashlight is in this sorry state. And covered in his chocolatey fingerprints. Woo! Therefore, we know he didn't wear gloves when he was patrolling the ship that night. Rule-breaking, chocolate-loving Johnny Smiles was not the culprit. What? That's ridiculous, not too silly. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That's me doing a shit. I never fully figured out a voice for hair. All right. Y Your Honor, the defendant has merely pointed out a possibility. To call this a witness a criminal without actual evidence against it is preposterous. Objection! The prosecution's duty is to clear what doubts there may be regarding the defense guilt. And I have demonstrated that there is at least a possibility that the witness is not telling the truth. Objection! At the very least, the spell of Cantabella is not innocent. As corroborated by the PC Badger, the toy that she attempted to steal. Hmm? Huh? What was that? Did Olivia just freeze for a second? Speak up. Prosecutor Flinch, explain to the court about this toy, this new piece of evidence. This is the stuffed toy the defendant tried to steal that night. Yeah. Hmm? One of its two legs would appear to be missing, the poor thing. This mishap fell a fellow PC Badger as the witness and defendant were fighting. The captain of the freighter reported the damage after the defendant's arrest. So this is the stuffed animal Olivia snatched from a spella. Dan, did you see the problem with the toy? It had no leg. That's it still had its tag. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Alright. I see. The court would like to hear the witness's testimony. Should we... Oh, we're gonna forget the tag thing, though. What? Are we gonna forget the tag? Nah, thing, you know? it's super important. Hmm? It's I remember. It's super important. All right. Witness your testimony. Jeez. Can we good night, everyone? I'm fucking exhausted. All right, just a second. Excuse me, witness. You have been asked to testify. Nah. <laughs> I love this. I'm so very sorry. I got a little upset from all these accusations. I'm not used used to this being called a liar. Ah, uh, yes, it's only natural. Don't worry about that. It's all that slimy attorney's fault. Why do I feel like an eel on? Why do I feel like that eel on that chopping board? The witness will now testify. Tell us how you retrieved this toy from the defendant. Gladly. All right. I think I wonder what she's saying. I don't get it. Whatever she said, I'll make sure this is the last time she says it in court. Well, I feel like that's a good point to stop. Good night, everybody. How are you feeling? Fucking sleepy. That's good. Let's talk for a few more minutes. First, let's save. Toodles. Night, everyone. <laughs>